I got a notification that eBay has delivered my new shift knob, which is exciting. I have a shift knob extender coming. Um, it should be here tomorrow, but I figure I'll give this a try in the meantime, which is exciting. I have a um, oh, knurled bride shift knob. Look at that. That's such a nice. That is so exciting. Massive install. Watch out, guys. It's going to take forever. I don't know how, how I'm going to do it. So how this works is they give you a bunch of these threaded little sleevey guys. The inside has no threads, uh, but the outside has threads. So what you do is you thread your shift knob onto the gnarly little guy. When you thread the shift knob onto the uh, like gearbox, give it a little force, a little pressure, and then it's creating threads on the inside of the shift knob right now. Probably looks like an off, which I am. Like I said, there's a shift knob extender um, coming tomorrow, which is gonna bring it up around here because there's a hydro e-brake going in here. But for the meantime, um, that's gonna be fun. So I think this should pretty much come off at this point, I believe. Hardcore, no front bumper. All right, so here's the update on, on my project. Um, we were kind of deciding on where to put these lights. Um, I wanna put them up top like a real rally guy. Um, the other option is right there, and then another option is down there. Um, after some encouragement by my wonderful woman, um, I decided I'm gonna do what I wanna do and put it right there. You know, back in the day, I used to get all scared about stuff and be like, oh no, I'm gonna ruin it. But like, dude, at this point, I don't give a frick. That looks so much better. I guess like that. <laughs> it's gross. Okay, this is a little bit. Of a okay, this is this is becoming a little bit of a. It just keeps coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move these shrimp out of the way. <laughs> I think this is the driver's side first. So that's the side I have to look at all the time. Yeah, it is pretty dirty. These aren't, weren't sealed very good. Okay. So let me show you guys what we got so far. Thank you for helping. <laughs> <laughs> like it ran into his cave. Angel helped me clear these lenses a little bit. Those lenses were really, really bad. I mean, they're not like showroom, like brand new, but the difference she made was night and day from what they were, that's for sure. And then so here's a taped up version of what we have, and here's a painted version. Um, so. This is the second coat that's drying right now. I'm gonna give these pieces their first coat. And then um, I'm probably gonna do three coats on this cause I never wanna open these ever again. Holy crap, I, ne I never wanna do headlights again. Um, so this is probably gonna be my one and only time I do headlights. Yeah, right. After this video, everybody's gonna want us to do headlights and I'll open up some kind of stupid headlight eBay store and then I'll be covered in sticky glue all the time. So I'm gonna do a dust, kind of just like a dusting coat uh, for the first coat so the paint has something to adhere to, obviously, just normal, normal painting stuff. Um, put it down. I, this is how I did do it before, like on the first one, and it seemed to go over pretty nicely. Okay, grand reveal number two. And if this is bad, I figured out a way to make it livable. Can we make a fire tomorrow? Can we put that shirt in there? Absolutely. <laughs> so 
See how it's oversprayed there? Okay, I didn't press the tape down enough. I came up with a solution. So the, the lenses that we have are a little bit tattered. What I'm gonna do is take a Sharpie and just fill that in and kind of ease out the, that line a little bit. It's like, and it, it's really not gonna matter because you're not gonna see it. And the only reason I'm doing it is because it's gonna make me feel better. It is many, many days later and I realized I didn't film a conclusion to the headlight video. Um, so these came out great in comparison to what they did look like. They came out awesome. Uh, but we did pick up one of those actual headlight restoration lens kits that I'm going to be trying in the next video that you see. Um, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of, uh, you know, like before and after and, and we'll actually do this the proper way. But I'm really happy with how these turned out and I think it's going to be super nice once the lens kit uh, the once I use the lens buffing kit. I'm really pumped on these lights. I decided I want to get four though. I think the two, although the two is really cool, they're super bright, um, it definitely needs four. So I'm going to get two more of these and then do four up the front. Um, I didn't really get a chance to show how I have these set up. So um, I just dremeled out one of these little plates and um, and then it works like that. So they're on right now. It's bright outside so you can't see, but I wired it in just like that. I installed a aftermarket wheel, which you guys will see, and uh, the shift knob extender, which you guys will also see. And most importantly, we have a really cool spoiler, but all that is going to be in the next video. So get excited. Um, a lot of big things are happening with the Yaris. The Yaris is getting pretty serious pretty fast.